Hi everybody, this is God's Girl G. And today um, I want to talk about um, the question, are you ready um, for marriage? I get a lot of emails and I apologize for being gone so long. But I get a lot of emails about relationships, men and women and all of that kind of stuff. And one thing that I know that we have not talked about is what makes you ready for a relationship or marriage, a serious relationship. And one of the things that I will start with, and this is setting the foundation for everything that I'm getting ready to say. If you have not mastered being single, what makes you think that you're ready to have someone else come into your life and then that work? I don't know about you, but I don't want to take my the things that I'm messing up in my single life into marriage because um, it really it, it it expands it gets worse um, if you've got a problem with communication it's gonna worsen when you get married if you've got a problem in your finances it's gonna worsen when you get married if your relationship with God is truly not intact really good it's gonna really be reflected in your relationship in your marriage relationship um, here's what I say the Word of God talks about that if you're faithful over a little he'll make you a ruler over many and so many of us, we want the ruler over many, but we don't want to manage or rule well the small things that he gives us. So how can God bless you with more if you can't even deal with effectively the little things that he gives you in your life, but yet you want to mate? Okay, so <laughs> that's my little spiel. Um, so there's going to be a couple of things that I want to talk about. And the first and foremost is that you have to be in a place of forgiveness. Whatever has happened in your past and previous relationships or whatever, you have to have the ability to have forgiven that person. And I do talk about forgiveness in one of my other videos that um, if you want to just take a look at, it, I'm not going to get into that. But the key there is forgiveness is not about you or excuse me, it's not about the other person. It is truly about you because when you forgive someone, it frees you up to move on with your life. And so many times we hold on to, to pains and hurts, not knowing that if we just let go of it, something else good will come in and take its place. Because right now, all of that negative stuff is taking up room in your heart. Why not let go of that so that good things can fill that area of your heart up? And so I just want to encourage you to take a look at um, my video on forgiveness, okay? So um, I just want to talk again about some other things. Um, you have to like you. I'm going to pause right there let that sink in. You need to like you. If you have a problem with you, what makes you think that someone else is going to be able to come into your life and then you not have those insecurities about yourself? It is very important that you like you, accept you for who you are. Why in the world will you keep getting on this, I need to lose weight, I need to lose weight? If you're not serious about it, stop saying that and accept you for who you are. If you are a size 16, accept yourself as a size 16 if you're not going to do anything about it. It might look good to say, oh, I'm going to lose about 20 pounds, but if you know in your heart you're not going to do it, stop doing that and accept yourself for who you are. Okay? Uh, next, um, you must be financially ready for marriage. Okay? There's a lot of women that I hear say, well, I don't need to worry about finances because when my husband comes, he's going to take care of all that. Ladies, that is wrong thinking. It goes back to if you're faithful over a little, I'll make you ruler over many. These are signs, some signs that your, your, your finances are out of order. Um, your credit card bills are way sky high. You're paying late fees all the time. Your, your bills are not paid on time. You would rather shop for clothes or go to the hair salon or get your nails done than to have food in the house to eat. Something is out of order. Something is out of whack. I'm going to be doing a video next about finances, so stay tuned for that one. But again, you're not financially ready. Why are you going to bring the burden of your finances in and into a new marital relationship? Because whatever is going on in your singlehood, it is going to impact your uh, relationship with your spouse. And so, ladies, this whole thing, and men, this whole thing of, yeah, I'm ready for a wife, I'm ready for a, a husband, get your singleness together 
so that you can free yourself up to go into a relationship and just say, you know what, this is what I have. And you show yourself that you've been faithful over the little that God has given you and then God will bless you with much more. Second, you're not spiritually ready for marriage. Okay, so as I share with people all the time, um, if your vertical relationship with God is not intact and your vertical relationship with God sets the foundation for any type of relationships that you have uh, down here on earth, which is a horizontal relationship, then it's going to, if your relationship with God is not correct, it's going to off kilter any type of relationship that you would have down here. For example, it's just like a cross relationship. If the post is set, even taking up fence to be example, if the post is not set straight, guess what? Every other board that's set and that post being the foundation, every other board that's set is going to be off. Get your relationship with God intact and correct because you surely are going to need it in a marriage relationship. If it's not intact, when you get married, it is going to show and it's going to reflect on your relationship again with your spouse. So get your spiritual self ready. You need to understand your spiritual role um, and you need to make sure that you know what it takes to keep a relationship together. And it's a lot of prayer time to make sure that things stay right. So get your spiritual life in check. Another sign that you are not ready um, for marriage is that you're not emotionally ready. And this here is it, a big one. Um, it's, if it's all about you all the time, about what somebody can do for you, and you think that when you wake up in the morning, that's when the sun rises, you, you're, boo, you ain't ready. You are so not ready. A marital relationship has to be very selfless. And if you are a selfish person, boo, you ain't ready. Stay single and work that out. Stay single. Work. Don't don't bring someone else in your life and mess them up. Don't do it. Stay single. You become, you know, another uh, sign that you're not emotionally ready is that you're extremely critical of others. Men, for example, you're critical of, of the person that you're with. Well, I, don't, I just don't like your hair. Well, you know what? That ain't even your hair. <laughs> I, I'm going to stop right there because... Mm, you don't like the color of her nails. Well, guess what? They ain't your nails. Uh, you know, the, let her do paint her nails. If she want to paint them purple, let her paint them purple. So that's a sign that you ain't ready. I mean, you're always dictating to other people, but yet and still you can't see the flaws in yourself. That is a problem. And then you don't respect other people's time. It goes back into it's all about you. When you are in a marital relationship, you're going to have to be extremely respectful of that other person. Yes, you're living in the same house together. And so it makes it even more important to be respectful of that person's time and respectful of that person's wishes. And go ahead and, you know, I have another video on here about uh, things that you should look out for in a mate, you know. And one of those signs is, is that if he's always or she's always telling you what to do. So go back and look at that video too. And then the other one that you ain't ready is that you always feel the need that you have to lie. What is up with that? You have to be a very honest in a marriage relationship. So hopefully these little tips have given you something. And for all of you that, that write me about, you know, a man or a woman, check yourself. Check yourself hard. Uh, because what we require of other people, we need to first look at ourselves to see if we're even doing that. Women talking about men that need to make a six-figure income. So let me ask you this question, women who think like that. Are you making a six-figure income? If you are, okay, well then maybe you're valid in saying that. But if not, boo, you cannot rely on anybody to come and rescue you. Res use Jesus and rescue yourself. So that's what I want to leave you with. I hope all is well. Continue to send me your questions um, because I do respond um, usually within 48 hours. So continue to send me your questions because they're very helpful with knowing what to put out there in YouTube land. You have a wonderful day and um, I'll see you, I guess, via email, godsgirlg at gmail.com. Take care.